benefit mindset is there for the team or for the organization or for their followers. So a leader that is there to enable, to not only understand, but to communicate and to believe in the why for a team, for an organization, and to bring those with growth mindsets towards that purpose, towards that why, and to lead them in that manner. Now, um, if you think about it, a benefit mindset would have had to have come from a growth mindset. And really, it is an evolution of a growth mindset rather than necessarily a, a different mindset between a fixed and a, and a growth, if, if that makes sense. So a benefit mindset is if you're a CEO of, of, of an organization and you're wanting to ensure that you have a learning and continuous learning philosophy or, or culture within your organization, you'll need to have a benefit mindset. You may not know it, but you, you may already have it. This is more putting some language to that. However, it also allows people to, to communicate with each other on, well, what do you want from a future leader? If you want to actually have a succession plan within your organization, does the person you're looking at succeeding you either have a benefit mindset or the capability or potential to have that benefit mindset? So that can bring that language and allow you to, to understand, well, what is it that you want from a leader? And, and a benefit mindset is a great way to at least ensure that there's a certain capability that that you may want from a leader or as if someone with a growth mindset you want to be following someone with a benefit mindset that actually has that overarching leadership approach to bringing together people with uh, a continuous learning philosophy so that's a benefit mindset that is ultimately bringing about the why for a team, for an organization, which focuses a lot on continuous learning and developing and bringing people with growth mindsets together.